homesteaders, welcome back to my homestead. If you're new here, I'm Sheena and this is my garden. And this is going to be our last garden video of 2024. We're actually going to switch and go inside and cook up some nice, amazing recipes with all the yummy things we grew this year. But this episode is all about things I'm not going to grow next year. First on my list is cabbage. Cabbage takes a really long time to grow. This one started growing later in the season and this one over here took off, um, but we had so many pests. And the truth is, is that I don't eat enough cabbage. Our family just doesn't enjoy it that much to take up space in the garden. We are not planning on growing cabbage next year. It's just not something that we enjoy enough in order to have this in the ground and taking up this good real estate. So cabbage is off the list. The next thing I'm not growing next year is this variety of eggplant. We grew the Rosa variety eggplant and it was just too small. And we didn't find enough uses for it. But next year I'm going to try and grow a different variety that might take off a little sooner and not take as long to grow to maturity. The third thing that I am not going to grow this year is a Polish variety of tomato. I'm going to put that up on the screen for you right now. But they didn't yield very well. They tasted really bland. And then on top of it, um, they were really a tough tomato. So definitely not going to grow those next year. The fourth thing that I'm not going to grow is actually not that I'm not going to grow it. It's just I'm not going to grow it here in this garden and that is pumpkins. So at the beginning of the season, I actually didn't even mean to plant these pumpkins that grew all over in my garden. Um, they were volunteer plants and while we did love the yield that we received out of them, I don't want them to take up that much space here in this garden. So I think I'm going to move them to an out garden so that we can still get that wonderful yield, but just not right here. Now I'm going to talk to you about four things we absolutely can't live without. And the number one thing is going to be garlic. Garlic is something that we use in almost every single meal. The second crop that we can't live without are our greens and I'm going to lump those all into one. So I'm talking about our lettuces and our Swiss chard and our kale. All of those things are something that my family eats a lot of. We have a salad almost every day in the summer. So that is something we can't live without and I will be making sure I plant a lot more next year. Three is kind of obvious. Whenever you become a gardener, almost everybody starts with tomatoes and that's one we just can't leave out. There's so many tomato based products um, that we use and that we eat so tomatoes has got to be on the list for must plant next year both big varieties and also the cherry types too. And fourth can't live without onions both red and yellow and white varieties. Onions are in almost every meal that we eat as well. So it's just something that is a staple and they last a long time. So, you know, you can grow them and then follow along down in the comments. You'll see that I have a linked video for braiding your onions um, and you can store them down in your basement for quite a while. So it's just a great crop to be able to have to grow by yourself and to enjoy with your family. So this last one is just a bonus crop and I'm going to lump a lot of things into it and that is herbs. Herbs are amazing and they help clean a lot of toxins out of your blood. Cilantro for one helps bring heavy metals out of your body and rids yourself of just a lot of toxic and scary things. So I have lots of herbs and I am actually still growing them into the winter. If you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I have a little spot that I cover uh, with plastic in the winter so that I can keep growing as long as possible. But herbs are just one of those things that when you grow them yourself, they're so much better. They taste better, they're healthier, they are straight to your plate. Um, and it's just, it's a wonderful thing to be able to grow and it's quite easy as well. 
Well, homesteaders, that's it for today's episode. I hope you learned something. I hope you feel inspired for your 2025 garden. I shared some things with you that I won't be planting again. I shared some staple must-haves that will always be in my garden. If you need a video on how to plant your garlic, that is my number one crop and you can plant it right now. It is not too late. Um, I am in zone 6A slash 6B and I planted my garlic a couple weeks ago, but there is still time left for you if you haven't. So um, I'll link that video down below so that you can check that out and get yours in the garden so that you can have some next year. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for following along. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love teaching you guys all that I know about gardening. I hope that you've learned something. And if you have any questions at all, put them down in the comments. I answer every single question on every single video. If I don't have the answer, I will find it for you. I hope you have a great weekend, friends, and I will see you again next time on Sheena's Homestead. Bye.